Okay, so in this video, I want to do a quick overview of bar charts. It's something that you've been working with for a long time now, but just to be clear, bar charts are used to represent discrete data only. So discrete data is the type of data that can be written as in categories. So for example, you might have uh, the color of a car and then you would have a frequency column. So the color of the car might be red, green, blue, for example, and then you would have a frequency attributed to it. And that would allow you to then draw a bar chart. So red is at 10, so I'd have to have a bar that goes up to 10 for red. And then for green, it's at 20. So each of these bars should be the same width. And then up to 30 for blue. So let's just draw my axes a little higher. And there's 30. OK, so we're going to have frequency as the y-axis, the title of the y-axis, and the color of car as the x-axis. And as you can see, the bars are separated. There is a gap between each bar. There is a reason for that, because we want to draw them as separate entities, separate uh, beings, if you like, okay? I can't have red and green kind of stuck next to each other. They are separate. And that is why we would refer to them as discrete, okay? It is discrete data that we must work with with bar charts. You don't want to get these mixed up with histograms, okay? So if you're not sure on histograms, I'm going to go through that uh, in another video.